For the best gameplay capture there is, pick up an Elgato today. Links are in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here. Welcome to another episode of the AFC Wimbledon career mode in FIFA 17. We are nearly there with the end of this season and I think we're not going to have any more. I'm not even going to tell you who the player of the season is going to be because we have about 10 or 11 games left in the season. I want to make it a bit of a surprise going into the end of the season. From now on, you're not going to know what the player ratings are, what the total is or anything until the end of the season when we finally recap it all. So... Here we go then, just focusing on games, let's get it done. This one against Gillingham, I'll probably sim, but before I do, I'll let you know that as soon as we can hit a thousand likes on this video, I once again have another video up and ready to go, and I'll get it out as soon as we hit the target. Let's go then, Gillingham versus Wimbledon. We, oh, good, I made a very good fucking decision to not play this game. It's a five at the back formation. Skip. Yes, although there is an injury, which I'm not too happy about, and Ivan getting two goals, getting a brace, that definitely means surely, unless... Gonzalez provided the two assists. I don't know. He has to be getting man of the match. And that means it takes him to within one man of the match. Dion Kelly's going to be out for a while too. Six weeks. It's probably not the entire season. But at the same time, we are going to be without him. And he's a quality right back. Thankfully, though, we have another very good backup that we got in January. in uh, Francis, I believe that's his first name. Or Fraser. Fraser Ed. And there you go. 9.4 for Andre Ivan for his two goals. His brace against Gillingham, which will put us... Hopefully, maybe into the top two. I don't know. If not, then a win against Bradford City would absolutely do just that. And take a look at it. Right before the eve of this game against Bradford City, we look at the table and we are in the top two. And three points away from Bradford City. So a win against them will take us level on points. But what's the goal difference? It's nothing too crazy, you know. If we can beat them by, what, two goals, then we will jump them on goal difference and we will go top. How about it? Our only issue, though, is that we are putting out a pretty rotated and pretty tired team. Any player that's in the starting 11 is on the bare bones of their ass when it comes to stamina. We've had to rotate as, of course, accordingly, too. Taylor is going to be starting up front. Lyle Taylor, Adam Ola Lookman on the left. Meads is in. Dozell is also in as well. We've got Robertson starting in place of Robinson, unfortunately, who's a bit tired. Ant's going to be at right back for a while now, obviously, because of the injury to Dion Kelly Evans. I've still gone with Gonzalez and Charles. They're still there. And, I mean, we're going to have to sub them at some point. Look how tired they are. Thankfully, Reeves isn't too bad. But, yeah, rotated team for sure. And we're going up against the side that is on top of the table. The team that we need to beat if we're going to have real any chance of getting on top of that table at the end of the season. So, big game. Maybe the biggest game of the season so far. Come on. 1v2 battle for the top spot. If Bradford beat us, let's say, of course, that is a possibility as well. They will go six points clear, of course, depending on what happens with other games as well, Charlton Athletic. But I'm telling you, man, we cannot let that happen if we're going to have any chance. If we, I mean, I really wanted to at least win League One. All I wanted to do was get automatically promoted. But if I'm going to finish second, I may as well finish first. It's two of my Road to Glory teams going at it. My current one in Wimbledon and a former one with Bradford. I'm going to try to learn from my last episode where I was talking too much, focusing on commentary, got distracted, had a poor start and conceded. For now, I want to focus. All right, nicely timed, nicely timed indeed. dazelle has got pace, and at the back... Oh, no! What happened there? I swear I was spamming the X button, wanting to get that low cross, and instead I got that fucking shit. Tackled into the path. Gonzalez, he'll shoot. Taylor, tight angle. Maybe I might have looked to get it back to Gonzalez somehow, but it was always tough. Again, he's passed the wrong fucking player. I am having a fucking annoying start to this game. And what is a shot from fucking Taylor? Why does every cunt in this game, when they swing to shoot the ball, lean back like this? Why? Oh, it was actually taken out, to be fair. Is that a pen... Oh, I don't know. I'm not even going to bother. Corner number 614 for the season. We are yet to score from one fucking corner. I swear to God. This team in corners. Set pieces. Fuck it. Good work, Lookman. I'm looking to cut it back, but I won't. I'll cross instead. Great cross! La Taylor off of the crossbar! 1-0! And potentially on our way to a lead in the League 1. I've completely fucked up that. Whatever. We are maybe on our way. One more goal and we could take the top of League 1. God, he steps inside like... You're fucking joking. Oh! He's missed! The save went right to him. It was put on a platter and it's gone over the crossbar. How did I fucking know it would go right to him as well? And he's missed it. What a lifesaver. No, Ed, no, 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 no. If you... No, Ed, no. You'll be fucking finished. Thank you. Oh, the tackle is made. He's still got the ball. Oh, my God, he's kept inside and he's crossed it back in. That's 1-1. Oh, no, Ed, Ed. 
what have you done? What was that pass? Why? No, you've, you literally just gave it right to him. And then me just spinning around, lets him get goal side. How the fuck's that happen? To the left again. We need to go quick. Dazelle is stuck to that man. Come on, keep going. We have numbers here. We absolutely do. If we can work this well, we might be able to rescue the lead back. Taylor, bang, right down the middle, but it's good. 88th minute, Lyle Taylor with a brace. Come on, son, this win might still happen. All right, you know what? As much as I would have loved to have gone up on goal difference immediately and taken top spot, I'm not, I'm not going to go overboard for it. I'm happy with the win, and we'll probably just settle at that. Taylor, Lookman, go, Lookman, go. Don't get clipped. Oh, my God, he's so fucking slow. He must be stuffed. You saw that. That's ridiculous. Meredith, though, started the game, and he's fine. But it doesn't matter. It's good. We won't get the two-goal cushion. We won't go up on goal difference. We're still second in the table, but we're level on points. And that is a big, big win. Rescued right at the end by Lyle Taylor. Here are the player ratings then. We have Lyle Taylor with a 9.4. He obviously got man in the match from FIFA, and he's going to surely potentially be the favorite to get man in the match here. But again, I can't say. I might shock you with a couple of these picks later on. But we have Reeves. 8.2. He was quite decent as well. We've got uh, a few other players here. I know Lookman. I said he was sensational, but he only gets a 7.2. Surprised about that as well. Polion, good when he came on as well. And then a few other players here and there. I thought Dazelle actually was okay too. Had some pretty poor games previously. Now that was a decent one for him. So, apart from the one awful fucking touch that set me off. But yeah, all right then. We, uh, we aren't going to be giving away the man in the match, but I think, uh, I don't know, we'll leave it up to you. But... We are still going to be doing the fans voting as well, so feel free to vote. I think it's safe to say that there's only two people in this team that can win player of the season so far. Andre Ivan and Darylis Gonzalez going off what we saw at the start of the episode. So the winner of that man in the match isn't going to have too big an impact on who actually goes on to win. But still, every single one counts. Dion Kelly Evans is injured, obviously, by the way. So I'm going to give his drills up straight away. Obviously, I can't train him anyway because he is injured. I'm going to train up a goalkeeper that is in my reserves, and I'm going to hopefully build him up uh, quite nicely. And the other drill I'll go to, I'll give to someone else as well. That goalkeeper is going to be Cooper. Highest rated, has super, super potential, like minimum 84, max 94. Absolute superstar. And yeah, I'm going to give him one-on-one -on -one goalkeeping. I don't know if I should give him the other goalkeeping drill as well, the silver one, but I think for now I'm okay with just that. Okay, they're the changes. That's who's getting drills for the moment, so... We'll just keep going with that pretty much for maybe the rest of the season. Might make some other uh, changes. Maybe when Samfield gets up to like low 70s or something, we could swap up his drills too. Bristol Rovers then. This is at home. They're clearly not one of the better sides either. They've lost to Charlton, lost to Bradford. To be fair, they've lost to some very good teams like up the top of the League One table here. And scored early with Gonzalez. That could be big. 2-0. Ed gotten a goal. Uh, gotten, got a goal as well. Gonzalez. Got a goal, so yeah, that might be interesting. He might be uh, potentially getting another man of the match here. But no, it won't be Gonzalez that gets man of the match. Fraser Ed instead, an 8.5 for his goal, the other goal scorer. So that's big then. And take a look at this. On top of the table on 72 points, Charlton and Bradford City, to be fair, both on 69, hot now tails. And MK Dons, maybe they can throw a spanner in the works and shock some people. Millwall are another tied and maybe Scunthorpe United, but... They really need to get on a run. And Millwall is going to be the game that I play next, actually, or after the MK Dons game. I have to play MK Dons, and I have to play Millwall. They're just absolute must-play, must-win games. So these other two are the ones that I'm going to sim, and then that will be that. Every other game in this episode is going to get played. Let's see how this one goes, though. Wimbledon versus Oldham. Who's going to get man of the match? What's the result going to be? Are we keeping our lead? We're keeping our lead. Mason, by the way. I think that's his first goal for the club. It's in a sim game, unfortunately. I couldn't score with him. I can't recall him scoring in a sim game previously. Fields injured. That sucks. But Archie Mason, maybe going to get his first man of the match. Archie Mason, our scouted future star, the next Kenny Prince Schwab. He got the only goal of the game, and he gets the man of the match, an 8.5. The bad news, though, Sam Fields' injury. He's going to be out for seven days. It's not too bad an injury, but he misses the game against MK Dons. I would be pretty confident of that. The team looks pretty strong for this game as well. We've swapped Dozell in out for Field, obviously because of the injury. Robertson is in for Robinson because he was quite tired. Mason obviously is a little tight as well. I was thinking about starting Lookman, but I'll probably have Mason start, look to substitute him at some point in the game. He's been subbed off every time I've played him. Not super great stamina, not great pace, ties quickly, not a great sign for a winger. He does have five-star skills though. I need to try to utilize that a little bit more. But it's MK Dons versus Wimbledon, the rivalry part two. This may be the second and only time that we play them in this career. Depending on what happens, they could be stuck in League One while we just keep on going up.
We'll see what happens. This very well could be the last game that we play against them. We cannot accept anything else except the win. We have to get it against them. Here we go then. There is obviously the opportunity for MK Dons to go through the playoffs, but I mean, ugh, I don't, I just don't know about their chances to be fair. I mean, it, it'd either be Bradford City or Charlton if we finish in the top. That's what I think. Oh, Mason's absolutely cleaned him up. It's not a foul. Unbelievable. I thought for sure it would be. He got none of the ball, took him out, and then I was like, ah, oh, fuck it, let's shoot. Don't know why. That's a foul though. Unbelievable. The referee. God, they're fucking passing it immediately. No, do not run to cover him. This is a dangerous situation. They've played it as well as they possibly could have. The finish, unfortunately, not for them, was uh, not good enough. Oh, fuck off. Not who I'm going to. Finally, we send Reeves away. A little late, though. Could still work out for us, though. No, I'm not too sure about this. It could be amazing instead. Oh, no, Ivan, you fucking cunt. All right, Reeves. Oh, Reeves. Reeves, he may have done a madness here. He may have. Ivan, redeem yourself. Do it, son. Saved. Ivan can't finish at the moment. What's happening? And half time. Stalemate. Although we have had our fair chances. That's for sure. Ivan could have put us in front after a great fucking move, but put it wide of the goal, unbelievably. And then some other chances, some other tough chances to score. Hasn't happened for us just yet. Another half to go. Phil confident that I might get more chances to score but oh, I'd love to have gotten the lead already. Kelly now taking him on I'm taking him on with all my defenders here today it's a bit mad. I still don't really have much support going either side though. I saw that up the middle Dizel steps past one can keep on going and going and going. Dizel! What a goal! What a run! It's 1-0 to Wimbledon! Andre Dizel with his first and that is something special! Look at this, the dribbling skills. He just keeps on running his way through and then eventually found a lane to shoot and took it. That is so perfectly placed in the corner. What a bloody goal! Oh god, the marking at that. He wouldn't run forward when I was pointing. I'm just trying to keep him at bay. The shot! Oh, another one foot wide! They're coming close. Honestly, a lot of shots that would be skimming the right bloody post here. Look at how close it's curling away. I can see that. I can see that. A bit of a stumble. And Ivan might pounce. Slide tackle in the box. That, my friends, is what we call a free kick? I thought it was a penalty. Surely it's continuation in the box. We'll find out, though. I didn't see him point to the spot. Unfucking believable Surely that's continuation. Oh, I can't believe it. Nah, whatever. Who are the free kick takers? Who are we going to get? Dean Pirates just hopefully... Curl this one around. That might be a bit too close to the wall. No, it's not. Two. It's over. We've got the win here in the last game, maybe potentially against MK Dons. It's sealed with a kiss. Sealed with a Dean Pirate free kick. I cannot see us messing this up now. What a brilliant finish. He doesn't get too much curl on it. You have to get the absolute perfect amount. And the wall not jumping really helps as well. If they jump, they probably block that or at least get close. But 2-0 lead now with about five minutes left till stoppage time. Not even. We've got this thing, I think. And that will do it then. Not a chance for a third, but a 2-0 win. Yes! That's exactly what we wanted. Is this going to be the last game that we play against MK Dons for the entire series? We'll find out. It is the last game of the season anyway, and we've done the clean sweep. Six points. Thank you very much, MK Dons. Get the fuck back to Milton Keynes. This is Wimbledon. Man of the match. A goal scorer from the free kick right at the end there. Dean Pirate, 8.8, .8, and Dazel an 8.8. .8. I told you, they both played well, and normally, my two centre midfielders, one's great, one's shit. Not today. Both sensational. Reeves was maybe meh. Maybe he was the meh one in the midfield as well. Other players that were uh, phenomenal as well. Sean Kelly that got subbed off too. And several other players as well. Williams, I don't recall having too much to do, but he rated highly as well. Ivan, probably not his best game either. But there you go. Who gets man of the match? I don't know. You'll have to wait and see. Despite winning that game, we're still only three points ahead of Charlton Athletic, who are hunting us down right now. Bradford City are third at the moment. I would have preferred Bradford City to have finished in second, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Charlton probably going to lock down second. Bradford City, MK Dons, Millwall, and Scunthorpe maybe are going to be the teams in the playoffs, but potentially other teams that are below the sixth position. South End, Oxford, and Sheffield United may potentially be in the mix as well. Peterborough, Walsall, it's all still very, very close, even at this stage. That's 
really fucking impressive. I don't mind that. More monthly scouting updates though to take a look at as well. Are we going to get anyone else? And as you may have gathered by the fact that we've skipped straight to the English scouts, they're the last ones that we normally do and I'm not excited by anybody there. Once again, we've come up empty. So, starting 11 for this one, once again, very rotated. Taylor is in. Lookman at centre attack and midfield. Barcham at left mid. He barely featured at all this season, but he's going to play. Thomas at right, uh, right mid. Suarez in field, the central midfielders. Meads is in. Nightingale is in. Robinson and Ed are still there, and is so Williams. So, I mean, maybe like four or five starting 11 players that are in there normally, and just everyone else is rotated, second rotation. So... We'll see how things go. Hopefully it's still good enough to put a fight up to Millwall. We are still trying to lock down top spot. Millwall our opponents for this one then. The last game of the episode. And I think after this, it will only be one more episode left to go because we have five games after this match and it's probably only going to take one episode to get all those done. This will probably end up being the second to last episode of the entire first season. So we want to set ourselves up for the final episode as good as possible. Keep on going. Barcham, going to go all the way to the... Yeah, it's fine. We can take it. Never scored from a corner, I don't think, in this series yet. Maybe... Oh, maybe now. Still clean on the line. Tackle by Robinson. He won't be able to get around, though. Maybe another tackle. Dropped him. Pass. Oh, look at this. The numbers. The numbers that we have. Off to the left. Maybe across. Or can we cut it in instead? Going to get blocked here for sure. No! Field gets the chance to score. Maybe one day his first goal. It won't happen this time, though. I can't believe it wasn't blocked. It went through the legs. And that may have been skimming the crossbar. Decent. Decent indeed. It's a little, maybe even better than decent. Webster's a bit too quick for Lookman, who can't control it in time. Can't go on goal. And it is going to end the first half anyway, nil-nil. And probably deservingly so. No team really looks like they were absolutely going to score at any given point. Good ball. Taylor. Was he on side? I think. No, he was off. Either way, the contact that he got, he just popped it up in the air very softly for the keeper to grab with his palm. He was off by just a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no! You're joking! That's how we've got it! Lyle Taylor with the dink! I just saw it. I just started running and I could not believe it. I'm going to fucking take the charity. I'm going for the League One title here, boys. I will take goals any way that I can. Plus, you never know when I'm going to I'm gonna end up in another bloody funk where I cannot get goals at all. I take them any way I can in this game, and it has just gifted that to me. And I've only sealed it with a dink, too. Oh, look at that turn. Look at it. How many shots go right to the fucking keeper every time? Oh, no. How they? Well, how are we playing such a high line at this point in the game? I can't believe it. Gregory, the shot. It would take something special. May have been on target. Williams has it covered anyway, but we have a corner to deal with. I cannot deal with the heartbreak of conceding in the 90th like this shit. I can't have it. We don't have too many back either. George Thomas will just whack this upfield. We won't get another chance to counter, but that is fine by me. 1-0. Absolute charity to win this game, that's for sure. With the, uh, with the ridiculous interception by Lyle Taylor. The ridiculous pass by the keeper. And... What can you say, mate? What can you say? We have won the game the only way that we've seen this game was going to let me. And that was through fucking just taking some absolute bloody charity off the game. It's mental. It is mental. I just was not scoring through my own ability to just create and to finish. I couldn't do it. I could not make those clear-cut chances, unfortunately. So I took the only opportunity that I was really going to have. Lyle Taylor dinking it over the keeper beautifully. Fraser Ed, though, getting man of the match with a 7.9. Obviously, Ivan and Gonzalez, the probable winners, the two-horse race it is, shall we say. It, they're just not going to get anything because obviously they're not playing. But who else will get it? Williams was okay. Robinson, I thought, was good too. A lot of players potentially getting man of the match. MK Dons have jumped Bradford City only on goal difference. And Sheffield United have incredibly found their way into the top uh, six after they were like eighth or something. Only a few, like a game ago, really. Our three-point lead over Charlton has turned into a five-point lead after they drew their last game. And with five games left to go, we have 11 points between us and and third place MK Dons, and also fourth place Bradford City on 70 points. That would mean we'd have to ridiculously throw away these final five games in order for us to not finish in the top two. I think no matter what, even though it's not mathematically sealed just yet, we are potentially, no, more like probably, finishing in the top two. There we have it though, guys. Probably the second to last episode of the season because 
I mean, only five games left to go. Not much other business to, uh, to take care of. I reckon this will probably be the second to last. And the next episode coming up will be the final episode of Season 1. It'll hopefully confirm our place in the championship too. But until next time, my name is The Master Bucks. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a good one.